In this video, we will take a look at the Inventor 2011 sketching enhancements. Here we have a brand new sketch using the brand new Winter Night color scheme, which is the new default for Inventor. Starting the line command, you can see there is now a dynamic input box very similar to the AutoCAD dynamic input box. The difference being with the AutoCAD dynamic input box, in order to get your first coordinate point, instead of typing, you have to actually select tab first. Then you can type in your value, such as 0.5, hit tab again, and it locks it in. 0.5 again, hit enter, and that selects your first point, in this case 0.5 by 0.5. For our line segment here, we can type in 2, tab over to the angle, and select 45. This will automatically put the dimension in as well. You can see it also added a construction line and an angle to that construction line for the angle off the horizontal. If I go straight up and type in 1 and just hit enter without tabbing over to the 135 degree, it will automatically put the 1 in but not the 135. So again I'll type in 1.5 here. If I tab over to 90 but not type in 90, then it won't create the value either. So now I'll go straight down, type in 1, tab over, type in 90, and hit enter. And now this will add the 90 degree value, even though that it is a reference value. I'll just use object tracking to finish this up. And just move this to our origin here. You can see you have a fully constrained sketch, and I don't have to go back and add any dimensions after the fact. I was able to do that as I was sketching. This dynamic input works for more commands than just line as well, such as circle. So here I'll go ahead and start a circle command. Go ahead and type in my value for this, but instead of just putting a single value in, I actually want to give this one a name. So instead of just 0.75, let me back that up and type in diameter equals 0.75. And this was an enhancement to Inventor 2010, but I like to show it again. Here I'll just line this up with midpoints, horizontally and vertically. And I have my constrained circle. Hitting the parameters button, which I might add is now on the quick access toolbar and easier to get to, you can see the values are placed in. I have my diameter. The name of the parameter has been changed from the D value to diameter. Here I'll do a rectangle and we'll do length equals two inches. We'll tab over to this other one here. We'll do width equals 50 millimeters. And as you can see, that rectangle was a little bit too tall. So we'll go back into that and change that back to about 12.5 millimeters. And I'll just quickly line this one up as well. The best thing about this dynamic input is how quickly you can create your geometry without having to go back and add additional dimensions. And there you can see length and width and diameter as well. Now in some cases, the dynamic input does not work. Let me just erase this rectangle. I'll start my line tool. start drawing my line. And in this case, when I want to do an arc off the end of a line, which is very common practice, you can see your dynamic input is washed away. It comes back when you draw another line segment though. Also added to Inventor 2011 is the option to right click and close, much like the AutoCAD interface. So you can close back to your original starting point for that line. 